Hi everybody, it's me. Uh, I promised a while back that when I'd have more space on my phone, I'd do videos. Because to be honest, I hate typing on I hate typing on Facebook on a phone. So I figured it'd be a lot better. Just to do videos. Um, I look like shit because my trimmers decided <laughs> to, I don't know what the right word is, go on the frets. Um, the lighting's a little bad, but I don't fucking care. It's the effort that counts. Um, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Uh, probably about 10 minutes or so. Uh, not really having that bad of a day. Um, now I got a new phone. It's got 60 gigabytes in storage plus a 32 gigabyte, uh, gigabyte SD card that I already had, so, hey, more video, um, there's one thing that I haven't talked about, uh, I've been meaning to, is my mom passing, Tammy Altman, in December, uh, most of the people on here are my family, so they know about it, uh, but I haven't really expressed my views. Um, my mom passed away, I think it was December 10th. Uh, I was supposed to get out of K-Pep December 11th, but I caught COVID. Um, like a week before Thanksgiving, so they quarantined me, put me in a hotel for a week. Thank God I didn't have any symptoms, really. Um, that set me back a week. My original out date was... December 10th, and because of the delay, uh, I didn't get out until December 17th, uh, I don't know where to start, to be honest, me and my mom didn't have the best of relationship, I was adopted out when I was young. Um, didn't meet my mom for the first time until I was like 23 when I got out in 2008. Did a nickel. Um, we've kept in contact, but everybody knows that mine and my mom's relationship was very rocky. Um, we've had conflicting views. She had her own issues. I've had my own issues. And... I can't say that I never loved her. She's my mom. Uh, being adopted, not growing up with my natural my natural family, hurt things quite a bit. But we're all pretty close. Um, I can't fault her because of her issues. I do hold grunges. I've tried to reconnect with my mom, given her quite a few many chances. Uh, I've I've gave her more respect than I ever did my dad Joe. Based on that, I I wanted my mom in my life because she gave me life. She gave life to my siblings, my three wonderful sisters, and my brother. Uh, fuck. Um, but because of her condition, it was hard. You know, I can't, I can't fault her because, I mean, he, I'm not a religious person, but even the Bible, you know, it's like, Jesus asked God for forgiveness when he was on the cross. He said, 
you know, forgive them for, for they know not what they do. My mom wasn't aware of the things that she was doing. And she couldn't quite help it. It's like she doesn't remember some of the things. I mean, she <laughs> she she believed that she raised us kids, but it's it it, it it's difficult to explain. Uh. I want to hold things, I wanted to hold things against her, but I can't, because she's not aware of it, she can't, she wasn't aware of accountability, and that's just mental, it's just mental deficiency, um, so I can't, I can't hold her accountable for having to give us up, all of us, but it's, it's changed my life considerably, being adopted twice, and, well, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a, it's a shit show, and then the way I was treated with her, by her later in life, it's, it, it it's hard for, for a person like me to take and understand, but I can't hold her accountable, and that's the tough thing, I wanted her to realize the pain she's suffered us through, but she's, she's incapable of being aware of it, the last time I really spoke to my mom, we had an argument, I was living with her, it was over money that I had in the bank, uh, People know about that back in 2018. Um, we both said horrible things to each other. I'm, I'm, I'm a brutally honest person when I'm pushed to it. Uh, she told me I wasn't her son, and I, I told her that she was, she was a horrible mother, which was true. Uh, I told her that she was so horrible of a person that the reason why she hadn't passed away yet was because God didn't want her and hell didn't want nothing to do with her so that was it uh, I had all, all my legal things for my for my appeal at her house when she kicked me out she put them on the porch I wasn't able to recover them I didn't have anywhere anything to put them. Uh, I was staying at her house for for about two weeks, and losing my losing my appeal affected things greatly. Uh, I'll put that in another video. Uh, anyhow, she also had this wonderful way of no, no matter what disagreements that we had like every every time we seen each other she was always you know she was always happy to see me like nothing went on I mean you you gotta respect somebody that has that type of resolve I mean that is it she didn't really hold grunges uh, I see a lot of myself and I see a lot of her and myself. We're both fucking stubborn. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that things didn't end on a good note. We've had disagreements, but that's not, that's not how I wanted to end things. I mean, I forgive her. I mean, that, 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 that's what her, it, that, that's, that's what it is. And I'll always give her more respect than I'll ever give my dad. That's that's another issue. But fuck, I don't know, man. If, if I got to put the world on my shoulders, I'll do it. If I got to be the only person that never patronized my mom, I'll do it. 
Everybody else grew up with my mom, except for me and Kirsty. But it's, I love you guys, I really do. And it, it hurts not growing up with you guys, it really does. But my mom passed away in the hospital back in December. Uh, I wish things could have changed. My heart goes out to my aunt. Um, my aunt Heidi, my aunt Sue, who are her only surviving sisters. Uh, Mother Aunt Tammy passed away on April Fool's Day, 2013, I think it was. I love my family. That's all that's ever... That's all that's... Ah, fuck. My family's the only thing that's ever mattered to me. And as time goes by, you know, things change. We get older. I'm sorry for everything. I'm, I'm sorry that I haven't been the best brother. But everybody has treated me like their own. Because, because I am. I don't know. It's, it's up for a different video. But I wish things ended on a better note. The day my mom passed... It was rainy, and since I've studied the Satru, uh, I've learned what my power animals are. Uh, if any, if anybody knows what a Satru is, it's Norse heritage. Uh, it's Norse religion, the old gods, and one of my power animals is a seagull. Believe it or not, um. The day she died, I was outside having a smoke break, and I seen a crow, which also has significance in Norse mythology, and a seagull. So, I don't know, there's, there's some spirituality to that. It's a sign, just be aware of your surroundings. A lot of people aren't, um... There's probably more that I should include, but I'm going to leave this at that for now. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys for being there. Uh, it's my stepdaughter's birthday today. Uh, we've had a long conversation, so... I've been thinking about her and her brother, the twins, uh, Sam and Jake. Uh, I was with their mom, Julie, for a while. Uh, for about three years, the last half, long distance. We've, we've kept in contact. Uh, she passed away a couple months after we uh, mutually ended the relationship. And just thinking about them, <laughs> uh, kind of started the emotional ride for today. So, just been thinking about a lot of good things today and a lot of, a lot of bad things. But we only have today. Let's make it count. I love you guys. Thanks for being there.